Hey there, Selena here, and about a year ago I made a series of videos talking about fibroids and how what they are, how they affect pregnancy, how they can affect labor and delivery and recovery, and then I shared um, my experience with them at that time, but I never updated you guys on how they affected me during labor and delivery and then recovery afterwards. So that is what this video is going to be. Um, so today I'm filming this on the 4th of July so one if you hear like booms in the background or fireworks two if you see somebody walk by well this is this is two not that this is two if you see somebody walk by in the background it is my mom because we are grilling I will actually create a playlist for those videos talking about fibroids and I will also add this one in there um, and I will add in my labor and delivery story video and I'll put all those in a playlist and I will link it up there for you guys if you do want to go watch those videos if you haven't seen them yet my fibroid I didn't find out that I had it until I was pregnant and I went to my first ultrasound um, it did affect my pregnancy I don't want to say quite a bit but enough um, there was about a week or two weeks where I was in so much pain that it hurt, like I couldn't lay down when I went to sleep. It hurt to get up to even go use the bathroom and all this other stuff. I even ended up going to the emergency room just to make sure nothing else was wrong. One thing that I was worried about it affecting was where it was. It was right along um, where the seatbelt, the lap strap for the seatbelt goes so I was worried about traveling because we were going to be traveling from Ohio to Washington by car and I was worried about that causing pain um, because of where it was but I was actually ended up being fine because by that time he had actually shifted so that he wasn't on my fibroid occasionally he would kick it but he wasn't on it I was actually quite okay um, and then when it came to labor and delivery then I was also fine if you've watched my labor story, you know that when I was first having contractions, I really didn't even feel any pain. I didn't even feel the contractions at first. And then when I did start feeling them, they didn't hurt. They were just very uncomfortable. They didn't, it did, my fibroid did not affect delivery. And then with recovery afterwards, it really didn't affect that either. Um, after recovery, your uterus shrinks which is supposed to feel like cramps and it's supposed to hurt really really bad for me it did not um, probably because I had a c-section so I was on pain medicine so it really didn't affect me any in that sense and I also found out during labor that I apparently have a high pain tolerance so maybe that's why it also didn't really affect me too much even after I was no longer on the pain meds. One thing I did notice though is when I started trying to work out or whenever I did any kind of ab exercises, either, or not ab exercises, but I just used my ab muscles to like sit up or something of that nature, like a few hours later or the next day, I would be feeling pain where my fibroid is and I just I wasn't sure if it was my fibroid or maybe if it was, if it was like my stomach muscles or something of that nature but I do believe that it was my fibroid I believe in my videos I said that one of the ways to reduce a fibroid possibly is by getting on birth control I am not on birth control because I'm breastfeeding and I know that they do have a mini pill but I did not want to risk my supply going down so I am just living with the fibroid for now I think it's also possible to get it the fibroid taken out after you have the baby but that obviously didn't happen for me and in the future I if it doesn't go away on its own which I'm thinking that it's not going to I do want to have it taken out before my next pregnancy. I would consider having it in, but the thing is, it's like every pregnancy is different. 
So even though it only affected my last pregnancy a little bit, I have no idea how it's going to affect my next pregnancy, which will be a few years from now, most definitely, at least two. <laughs> Because I don't know how exactly it's going to affect my next pregnancy. If I can, I will most definitely get a, get surgery to get it taken out. If I still have it. Because I don't want to go through that pain that I went through for several months versus just two weeks with my next pregnancy. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you have any questions about fibroids and pregnancy or labor and delivery or recovery then feel free to ask me in the comments below and also share your experience if you've had fibroids while pregnant in the comments down below new video every sunday and every wednesday and until next time deuces this is washington 